As a result of the survey process this past year, we saw a record level of pessimism come through the survey results. And that pessimism is on the world economy, whether it will rise, stay the same, or decrease. I would argue it's not a surprise that that pessimism is there when you look at that level of uncertainty that you hinted towards in the video. And that uncertainty is not only from various risks that are forthcoming each and every day, but it's the magnitude of the risks, the impact that it has, and the ever-changing list of risks that CEOs are dealing with right now. I also would caution us not to necessarily overreact to that pessimism. Since the launch of the survey, we've had the UK election solidify Johnson's uh, role that he has today, which we had that uncertainty prior to the survey being launched. And you've had stage one of maybe some thawing of the US-China trade conflicts with the first phase that was at least hinted towards and talked about in the past few days.